the things they don't teach you in nail school. I think this is a really good episode for you. If you're considering nails as a career, we're gonna talk about it right now on the Biz Talk. Trace, I think this episode mm-hmm. could go down as the fastest episode in the history of all episodes because the answer is one. Everything. Done. <laughs> We're finished? Your intro was longer than what the answer. <laughs> the, the intro is longer than everything. They don't teach you. It's everything. So um, I hope that helped. And we'll see you next time <laughs> on the Biz Talk. Um, we're going to do detail. I'm just kidding. I but- think I think the most important thing is to say is I realize, and I'm sure you do too, that there are some very special teachers out there yes. who strive to teach their students. And they do a great job. Things. Um, and they go above and beyond. Unfortunately, it's n- not common. Yeah. Uh, and I think it's the way that like the requirements of the school to pass state board, right? So like state board is made up of a particular subject matter to get your license and pass. Yep. And so the school is going to direct focus. Uh, focus to make sure that you get your license and pass. Yeah. So it's almost like it's not even so much the blame of the school as it is more of like the requirements of the state. But But I get it. This is hard because like I understand it's like sanitation and disinfection. Which is huge. Huge. Like yeah. especially so, with COVID. It. There's one thing they teach you. Sanitation and sanitation. Dis- yes. So yes. Not everything. They got one. They got one. Sorry. Um, you're correct. Which is not should not be taken lightly. No. Like obviously, um when we're saying they don't teach anything, we're talking about like nails you know, nails, uh, and everything that has to do with nails. What you are taught is obviously this is like safety and, um, the health of the client and you and making sure that everybody is safe, huge important, especially with COVID, right? Like, Oh yeah. With all that coming down the pipeline. Nail diseases, things like that. Very important to learn, but, um, past that, the, the, what, the state board usually requires you to do at state board is what they're going to teach you. And right. then you're, you know, you're just not, especially if you're doing, um, nails only. Um, I, my school, uh, the, the teacher was a hairdresser and cosmetology. And it, I'm not sure if it's changed, but back then you couldn't just have a nails license and teach at the school nails. So okay. me, no matter how long I've been doing nails, what? I couldn't go to a nail school. It may have changed, but at the time, I couldn't go to a nail school and say, hey, I want to teach your nail program. No way. I'm qualified. Nope, sorry. Are you a cosmetologist? No. Oh, you can't teach. That is so backwards. Like, you want someone that is totally focused on nails to teach the nail program. Nope, nope. cosmetologist. You had to be cosmetologist. That's crazy. Yeah. So, you know, that's backwards. And then, you know, there's, there's, you know, certain things. Okay. Um, State board, uh, you do odorless and you have to do one sculpt, one tip. Okay. That's all we're going to teach you. And we're going to use odorless, even though you're not going to use it any other time in in your life. life, Right. For the most part. Um, And it's like the stupid little crooked finger, finger, you know, that you practice or, or dowels that you connect a tip to. And that's what you practice on. And you just, they just want you to get your requirement in of you, whatever it was, a hundred of these, you know, did you do the hundred? Yep. Didn't matter what it looked like. The, those, those little practice fingers, by the way, haunt me. Okay. <laughs> they, no, no, no. Like uh, in all seriousness, I remember like back in the day we used to put these school kits together, you know, <laughs> and we use those practice fingers. Then we'd sell them in bulk too. But it's such a very distinct, specific memory of like me dragging these boxes full of these freaking practice fingers and like in the back of the warehouse, those things haunt me, dude. I they hate haunt you. Them. They haunt me. <laughs> Seriously. Um, but 
no fills, yeah, no electric files, right? And you'd be right. like, you know, ask the teacher, well, if I bring an electric file in, can you show me? Nope, can't, can't, can't do it. We right. don't do that here. You know, fills can't show you how to do fills. It's not. I I used to go to schools in Reading and and just you know like once a month and and do a little demo for them right um you know get the the students excited that was my biggest goal like i just want you guys to be excited about what you're getting ready to go into totally. and um i i asked the teacher you don't show them fills or or she's like and she was very honest she said we are not required to do it so i do not do it right which is an awful attitude to have most honest. she was honest I, no no <laughs> yeah. i respect the honesty but um that's just a terrible attitude to have so like, okay, look, let's just break this down real quick. You've got, so what you're taught in school is you're going to get sanitation disinfection. We're talking about the majority of schools. Yeah. Of course, like Tracy said at the beginning, there are some that are going to go above and beyond, but um, most are going to teach you that. You're really not taught anything else, like actually how to do nails using product that you'd pro you're probably going to use in your regular life. You're not going to learn any business part um, at all, how to manage, yeah. how to market how to promote, how to build a clientele, none of that. So the question for me, Tracy, is like, if you go to nail school and you you learn sanitation disinfection, which is, again, it is very important, okay? So the school does its job. Yeah. Um, and you learn that, you understand it, you pass your state board. How in the heck is somebody supposed to learn? So it's like... The, the, there's a huge gap I think it's important for us to talk about, which is you get your license, most most people, and then you, and technically you can start taking clients the next day and, you know, according to the state, and start doing nails. But there is a massive gap that <laughs> actually exists from when you get your license to actually doing nails successfully. What? How do you get there? There is no magic fairy dust that comes, you know, here's your license. It's all <laughs> You're like, I know how to do nails, <laughs> you know. Uh, you still got to learn that part. <laughs> it'd be like becoming a heart surgeon off that operation game. <laughs> That's such a great comparison. Like, you're a doctor now. Go perform heart surgery. <laughs> cool. Yeah, go. Does it have the buzzer on their nose? <laughs> you know, so you have to get further or a continued education. Yeah. And it's important to be doing it while you're in school. So take those times. You know, because schools uh, usually have two days off. If you can take some courses in between, watching YouTube videos at, at night, practicing on the weekends, practice, 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 oh, until you don't want to do it anymore, you know, um, will put you ahead of the game. Yeah. That, that, that process, right, of like finding your groove or develop, that skill development part. Yeah. Number one, like the benefit, the huge advantage, I'll say, excuse me, is that today you have, there's so much education on YouTube, it's insane, yeah. right? So you've got that going for you, yeah. which is good. Thank, thank God. But I, I will say like you also need, there's, on the other hand, there's so much information out there. Sometimes it's hard to find the right information. So... You know, I'm not going to pat ourselves on the back, <laughs> but maybe a little bit, you know, go to our YouTube channel, oh, you know, yeah. and, and you like we have over a thousand videos like you can live there for months and get such good knowledge. You know what I mean? And and if you find some other sites that obviously have good info, I just don't know. I haven't gone through competitor sites. I don't know if they're teaching yeah. good stuff, but I know what we do. Um, and to me that, that beginning process is always like, you're just throwing stuff on the wall and seeing what sticks, yeah. you know, it's like you, you're, you're going to watch videos on prep. You're going to watch videos on like shaping, e-filing and like art and upcharging. And it's going to be like, what in the hell? Don't get overwhelmed. Just like you might use this video later or you might use it now, but just start learning, you know what I mean? Consume. Well, and build yourself a library. I, I find yeah, this is very helpful is, you know, if you have, if you find something useful, maybe you're not going to use it at that time, but copy, paste, copy the link, paste it in, a, you know, some kind of a, a Excel or Word with the, the title of why, why, you know, 
this is prep. Yeah. This is pricing. Your, yeah. And then you, so then in the future when you're like, oh man, I need, what was that about doing prep? I can go, you can go to your prep section and, and find the videos easy. It's really good. I think you can actually do that on YouTube. If you have a YouTube account, I think you can categorize. Oh, can you? Yeah. I know you can save them. You can save them. And I, I think save you can, a lot of videos. <laughs> I think you can title, you can save it uh, under a specific, cause like when I say videos, I don't, you know, I just put them all under like watch later, but I think you can actually categorize them. Um, uh, in, into, yeah, yeah, I, I'm pretty huge. sure you can. I'll have to look that up and double check, but I'm pretty sure. But worst case, I think that's great. I mean, you can have an Excel sheet and then um, you can start to like categorize it create, that way. Yeah. Create your library. I, th I think that's a, a huge, but it's disappointing. Yeah. It's just disappointing when you, you know, and you have to have motivation. You have to have um, a little fire behind you. And that's why, Abib, I think out of the 11 girls in my class, only two, two of us went on to do nails. Really? One didn't even go. She finished school, graduated school, didn't even go to um, the boards. Really? Yeah. What, did you ever talk to her or find out why? I no? have no idea. What she just didn't. She that's... just didn't do it. And I'm just like... You went through all, even if you weren't going to do it, why not just go to the boards? Just get your license. Yeah, so you have your license, right? Yeah, it, so, you know, you have to have a little fire behind you to go the extra mile that's yeah. going to take to learn to do nails. Yeah, it's it's not easy. And this, unfortunately, the system, the way it's set up, oh my God, it makes it so much more difficult because it's, it's like... Um, what Tracy was saying, you know, the game operation and doing heart surgery. Let's say I wanted to do, uh, I wanted to get into a trade. Mm -hmm. Let's say like, I've always been fascinated by like, you know, electricians, you know, and what they do. I, I know it's weird, but just with like the circuits and cause it's physics, there's like a lot of physics in it. And I remember doing circuits so in physics. I did not, you, I, uh, <laughs> I know there's always new something today. new. And, um, like, it would be like me going to a trade school to be an electrician. But the only thing that I learned was like how not to get shocked. <laughs> and then they give me a license. Okay. You can now you're, you can go in and, and take customers. And I'd be like, what the hell? You're I don't even know what to do. Not getting shocks important, but what about the rest of it? Yeah. Like yeah. how do I, how do I, how do I pull cable wires? How do I like switches? How do I install like all this stuff? Have no idea. Yeah. You know? Um, and it's scary. Like, I think it, it makes sense what you said about the only two of you went on because like that promotes a high rate of failure. If you like, here's a license, you know, but we're not, you literally have no clue and you got to figure out for yourself. Yeah. That's a recipe for failure. And, you know, fortunately I was able to find somewhere that was going to teach me. I, I believe the other girl had the same situation. The other ones probably didn't have that. Yeah. You know, they didn't have a, 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 a um, someone to help you out and ask questions or maybe they just were too embarrassed to i'm like i'm i'm, I'm gonna make it i have to ask yeah. questions i'm gonna sit and watch i'm gonna i'm gonna be a burden <laughs> you but you have to be yeah you know what i mean like even even in this like whole social media uh building that we've been doing in the last four years i was at times a burden on, you know, the, the company yes. that we worked with. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> you're like, yes, you're a burden. <laughs> That's it. Um, I would text and email, yep. you know, Vayner media who, who was our partner in the, on this journey. I mean, I didn't care if I had a question, I'm hitting you up and I don't care if I bug the ass out of you. Yeah. Worst thing they can say is no. Yeah. You, and, and if you do, and, that's fine. You know, I'll ask somebody else, but yeah. they, they never did. They were always like, no problem. We're going to, we're going to help you and show you. And I think that's important. Like you said, like finding you video content is going to be there for you. Having someone, a place where you can ask questions, um, in like a nail tech, if you're able to find that a salon, a place that's going to support you, help you grow. How huge is that? It's massive. It's, massive. it's exactly. everything. It really is everything. Yeah. Like if you can find that. And that's why I always recommend like get in a salon at first, you know, maybe don't go booth rent right. Well, I went booth rent right away. But, you know, I again, I had a salon that was willing to help. But, you know, maybe not go out 
by yourself in a suite yet, you know, maybe get that help and that experience is it's huge. Now, some people don't and they're very successful, but again, they have to have huge motivation behind that. Yeah. Yeah. That part, um, that part is big. Mm. That part is really, really big. I think in the end, um, just as long as you understand that, like, if you're someone that is like, I want to have this changing career and I want to get into nails and I'm going to go to school. And then when I get out of school, I'm going to be doing nails instantly. If the school is that good, you might be able to, but most, at least from our experience and knowledge, most schools, unfortunately are not that you're going to learn sanitation, disinfection. That's the real expectation. And you've got to go elsewhere for your information. For the rest of it. Um, Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, I was just watching a video the other day. This, I don't know why this reminded me, but it was a girl first day of school. Okay. And I think she actually of was going nail school. I think she was doing both. Okay. So first day, she's like, "Yeah, they just told us that we'd be on the floor." Oh, it was a hair because we'll be on the floor doing hair today. I think they're joking, and just <laughs> you, you know, as a joke, just stress us out. And mm. then it, later on, it shows her doing some combing through someone's hair. She's like, "Nope, they weren't joking." Like, I'm. Same with uh, nail techs. They put you on the floor for Manny and Petty's like immediately. It's a money thing for them. Yeah, for the school. Yeah. So, you know, that's another problem that, you know, you can have. That, but I guess you do learn Manny's and Petty's. But I don't know why. Random. But it just reminded me of like this poor girl. Yeah. She's like, I think they're joking and just trying to stress us out. Nope. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's too bad. Yeah. You know, like if you're getting some experience, like you said, you're, you're, you're actually getting some experience doing hair or nails. And the thing is, is that the customers know, like these are students, Yeah, you know, like well, they don't tell them that. No, they do. Oh, okay. They don't act like it. Oh, the, the customers. Oh no, there's signs everywhere. All work done by students and customers, man. Still get pissed off. You know what? It's a great way to, to get, get that experience yeah like dealing yeah, with customers yeah. <laughs> that's gnarly though yeah i mean i i think that if 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 that is a regular part of a school i think it's a good way to kind of just get a feel for it at least you're getting some experience even though yeah. it's gnarly yeah it's still a good thing but overall like you're gonna have to to get real nail knowledge and experience i mean all i always say reach out to us um we're always here to help in any way shape or form but you've got to be on that journey getting from license to you know, doing nails or starting to do actual nails, there is that gap and it's up to you to fill that gap in and hopefully you'll take some of these recommendations. Um, let us know in the comments below what your experience was with schools and what did they actually teach you? I'm curious to know if anybody's gone to a school where they've actually taught you nails. Um, would be nice to know. Thank you, Tracy, so much. Thank you. And also guys, any other recommendations? Put them in the comments below. If you want us to talk about something, we'd love to do it. And with that, say thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next time 